Hey guys, this is Maria, an Artsy coach here at Artsy, and I wanted to go live this morning from my kids' camp. Um, so I have a weekly, I just started for the new year, a weekly art uh, workshop for kids. So in our town, um, our kids don't have school on Mondays. It's a four-day school week. Some schools have five days, but the majority of the district has Monday off. And also, the um, there's a local coffee shop, and so they've uh, allowed me to come in and use their uh, multi-purpose room, and I just set up a weekly camp and I have two camps today so I have a morning session from 9 to noon and then one from 1 to 4 and the room only has space for 12 kids so um, it's a weekly event it's a great way for kids to still be doing something fun on a weekday helps moms um, and parents kind of take a break for the day so it's a workshop so it's a little bit different than a paint party that we typically do with gallery on the go um, this incorporates some more techniques and uh, some different things and we're working on some new things uh, for these kids camp in the upcoming year but this one in particular today we're doing polar bear art party so I'll turn my camera around I just want to show you kind of the setup of the room first of all this is a cute coffee shop so we're it's just like a multi-purpose little room here so I have set up for 11 uh, one of my students couldn't come this morning so 11 this morning and then I'll have some more this afternoon and here's what we're making so we're doing a polar bear theme this is one of our paintings in our gallery on the go gallery called polar feast so they're pre-traced you can kind of see uh, the kids will learn a little bit of a water technique we're painting on wood which is super fun and um, a little bit sometimes it's actually the same price as canvas believe it or not it's a one inch uh, thick wood 11 by 14 pre-traced it not only does it help the time go a little bit faster but it helps keep let the kids keep the shape of the polar bear you might notice this fun beautiful glaze on here it's called dragonfly glaze by plaid or folk art and they're using it on all three of their projects so we have our polar bear feast and then we have these fun um, blocks that they'll be painting you can see that dazzle from the dragonfly glaze super cute they paint just simple little I'll show you here they'll paint simple little um, animals so we're learning about the Arctic today so you can see they have polar bears and um, some seals and some penguins and then they have some fun paper that they'll get to pick from. This stargazer paper uh, founded at Hobby Lobby was so awesome. Let me show you what the, the dragon glaze um, kind of looks like this by our friends over at Plaid and Folk Art and super fun uh, paint that they'll get to do. So they'll have two options. They can kind of paint this one. You can see the seal um, kind of at the uh, Arctic ocean here and uh, seals actually get eaten by polar bears if you didn't know that um, but you can see that fun glaze how it kind of looks uh, shimmery there so kind of hard with the camera and then the third project they'll be making is a watercolor silhouette. So this is just watercolor paper. Again, this is like the Northern Lights. We'll talk about the Northern Lights today too. Or they can paint inside of the stencil, uh, kind of painting a Northern Lights scene with uh, polar bears. Very simple, fast project. But what I'm gonna be teaching the kids here is just a little bit about watercolor and um, kind of that reverse stenciling. That's what they're gonna learn about, how they can paint uh, color or paint designs inside of the shape so anyway I just wanted to go really quickly live for you my students are actually walking in and hi there's one of my students now and so I just wanted to show you guys how easy it is what you can do during the week how you guys can um, set up your own artsy based business and we help you do all of these things uh, so look us up on artsyassociation.com we'll talk to you soon